Hello guys, today I want to talk about middlewares, but about rarely used feature called middleware groups. There are in fact middleware groups already in default Laravel projects, but you can create your own groups. How to do that and why? Let's take a look at a few examples. This idea of this video came to my mind while working on my new upcoming course about multi-tenancy and specifically with the package of Spotty Laravel multi-tenancy, which use middleware groups. So there are a few middleware classes from the package needs tenant and ensure valid tenant session. And for security for protection, you can add both middlewares into web group into kernel class, app HTTP kernel file. Let's open that file and quickly browse through that what it has inside. So it has middleware that is loaded on all requests. Then there are middleware groups for web and API, which are loaded automatically for web requests and for API requests. And this is actually stated in the route service provider. Here we have routes for API with prefix API. And as you can see, we have middleware API and for the web, it's middleware web. So in fact, here middleware name is not the middleware name, it's middleware group name. If you go back here, so all of that is a middleware group, which you assign to the route group. And then down below, we find the usual typical custom middleware list where you can create your own middleware with PHP artisan make middleware your class, which I did here, then assign the name like first and second, and then assign that name of the middleware to specific route or specific route group. So that's just a quick overview of how that kernel file works. Now, what can we do with route middleware groups? First example, as I said, is from the package of Spotty multi-tenancy. So if you need to add two middlewares, you can add them specifically to one of the groups, or you can create your own middleware group like this. So in addition to the default middleware groups in here in the app HTTP kernel, there's web and API, and you can create your own group where you can add your own middleware or already existing middleware from this default list. So for example, in the API group, you can see one of the middleware is throttle API, which comes from here, from the route middleware from here. So you can combine various middlewares from Laravel, from packages and your own custom middlewares into your own group and then assign that group to the routes. So this is the example again from the package, you create your own group and then assign route middleware tenant and then group the routes. Let's do the same thing with my own custom middleware, which is just a fake list of middleware. For example, you have a few middlewares to assign to the route group and this is one way to do it. So you just list the middlewares here in the array or we can create our own group. So for example, custom group and then you list first middleware class, second middleware class, for example, auth if you need it here, something like that. And then in the route group, instead of having middleware here as array, you just add middleware custom and inside that custom, it will execute all those middlewares that are here. So that's it, a quick lesson. Of course, you can read more about middlewares in the official Laravel documentation, and I will link that in the description below, including middleware groups section. If you want to find out more about this package, about Laravel multi-tenancy, as I said, I'm preparing a course about multi-tenancy, and I will review at least three packages there for multi-tenancy. So if you want to get that, the best way is to subscribe to yearly membership of all of my courses, currently 30 courses. So for that price, it's actually $129 plus taxes. If that applies to you, you will get 30 courses and everything I will release in a year ahead, including that multi-tenancy course. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.